from the Alliance for Dade. We're at one of our sessions called Alliance Live, where we interview our investors and find out about their businesses or organizations and give them a chance to tell us uh, about their organizations. Today, we are at Integer, as you can see in the background, and Steve LaPlante is the manager here, and I'm going to introduce him, and he's going to tell us about Integer. Well, Steve, good, good afternoon. Nice meeting you. Yeah, I'm Steve LaPlante, Director of Operations here at our Georgia facility. Uh, a little bit about Integer. Uh, Integer has uh, about 8,000 employees worldwide. We have 26 locations, 16 of those being manufacturing. Here in Trenton, we have about 350 employees. Oh, very good. About 110,000 square feet. But we actually have about 15,000 square feet available for, for growth, which is what we're looking for. Integer as a whole, uh, we are the largest OEM um, company for medical devices in the world. Wow. So in Trenton, we make specifically tubing, uh, medical tubing. So we're 100% medical here in Trenton. Integer as a whole, though, makes all different types of components. Um, in fact, there's a nine times out of a ten chance that if you have a surgical procedure, there's components made by Integer in, those, in that surgery. Wow, that's great to hear. Here in Trenton, we are focusing on medical components. I mean, medical tubing, excuse me. Um, used in, like, urological for kidney stone removal, uh, neurological for pain management, uh, cardio, uh, rhythm management for delivering pacemaker leads. Um, we have something we call variable flex for removing blood clots, for instance. Mm. So. Mm. Really high-tech in, in stuff here that you're, uh, that you're working on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so a question I have is um, we, we want to, first of all, thank you for being a member of the Alliance for Dade. Sure. But what was important about that decision to become a member of the Alliance uh, from the energy organization. Why was that important? Well, the Trenton facility here has been here since 1988, okay? The facility started here because of the knowledge in the area, all right? Mm -hmm. And then we've, we've grown over the years, but what we, what part of being here is one, we came here because of knowledge, but we stayed because of the community and the people in the area. So the Trenton facility, we don't, we don't view ourselves as just being in the community, we see ourselves being part of the community. We're part of the community, the community is part of us, right? And yes. the Data Alliance is part of the community. Being part of the Data Alliance allows us to interact with other business owners in the area, to expand our communications with the community, but also allow parts of the community to have more interactions with us that we may not have directly in-house or through our, our networks. Okay, nice. Um, what kind of services do you look forward from the Alliance to provide for Integer? Well, part of it is um, possibility for other, for labor, correct? So we're all, we, we, as I mentioned, we were talking about growth. We look at about 10% growth year to year to year. Great. Um, last year, because of COVID, things slowed down, of course. You know, elective surgeries halted for a little while. They're back open. And we're already seeing at least a 4% growth this year. Oh, oh, nice. Again, we love the labor force and the community here, but um, for Alliance for Dade is having that opportunity to also see what's the, uh, what is the, uh, the, uh, the county looking for for expansion um, and what the workforce look for um, for a place to work, but also opportunities for people that might have, a, have looking for a place to work. Oh, okay. Excuse me a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, on top of that, um, understanding the type of developments in the area. No, we, we also own um, some of the, well, we have a lease beside us through uh, the IDA, so we can expand into that area, but understanding what is Dade County looking for for the future. Okay, very good. Um, what kind of benefits have you seen from being a member of the Alliance so far? And we haven't been up and running that long, but uh, what, what advantages have you seen? Well, John Rollins is our EHSS person, and he's actually been very active in the Alliance. Um, and by the way, thank you for sharing him with us, because oh, yeah. he's, he's a good board member, and he's actually co-chair of our board. So. Oh, excellent. excellent. So, Ryan, with uh, being part of the Alliance for Dade, we are already starting to understand what's going on in the community and what the community is looking for for their future. That helps us understand what we need to do 
and what we want to do uh, for people to understand who we are, but also understanding our growth opportunities uh, in the way of the workforce in the area. Okay. Uh, could you tell us or could you tell other organizations in the area what benefits or what things are important to your organization that could be important to them as well? Well, I can tell you a personal experience. Okay. Um, I moved here a little over a year ago. I worked for Integer in, in Virginia. I came down here and I came down here partly because of the values that are with Integer. Um, I stayed because of the community. I stayed because of the values that we see in the area. Good. A very strong workforce and a very strong work and family ethic in this area. Uh, for a company that might be looking for a place to call home, you're gonna have a very stable workforce here. Now, I'm a little bit, of course, um, I want to keep my workforce, right? <laughs> but I can say that's what keeps, that's one of the reasons why we love being here in part of Dade County is because of the stable workforce and their ethics. Yeah, if we have a strong community, that's going to draw more people here and it's going to help the workforce for a lot of different organizations as well. Oh, yeah. And the location, you can't beat it. I mean, where else can you work in such a beautiful location? You got the mountains surround you in a valley. You have a close proximity to a city if you want to and go for those. But if you, if you love the outdoors like myself, you have all the wealth of the outdoors as well. You're right. Right behind us here is Lookout Mountain that's looking down on us. So that's correct. That's, that's nice. Uh, again, we appreciate you being a member of the Alliance and, and, uh, and your support for that. Obviously, we're looking to get really into networking once this COVID thing is behind us. Uh, and I know we spoke before about possibilities of doing networking events and those kinds of things. So we're looking forward to that. But thank you. And everyone, this is the closing of our segment of the Alliance Live here today at Integer. And look forward to seeing us at other businesses throughout the Dade community. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.